Hey girls, welcome back to another video. This month I'll be uploading one video per day. So all about hair loss, hair toppers, wearing hair, feeling confident in hair. So if you'd like to follow on this little journey that we're going on together, please hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. So today we're going to be talking about traveling with hair and wearing hair toppers and all things like that. I have been overseas a couple of times with my toppers, so I'm just gonna give you some tips on you know, how you can get around um, managing wearing wigs or toppers when you're going on planes, moving from hotel to hotel, doing you know, outdoorsy things and all of that. So the first thing that you should invest in if you're going overseas or any sort of travel is one of these collapsible topper stands. They're really, really cheap and really easy to use. You can just find them on Amazon or eBay or anything like that. They just will be put together like this and then they can obviously be flat in your luggage. And this is how you can store your topper in your hotel room. So these come apart really easily and then that'll be able to lie just flat in your suitcase, which is really handy. Another thing that you can take with you is a silk bag or a satin bag. So you can you know, store your hair toppers in here. And the benefit of these is that the material is pretty silky, so it's not going to tangle or anything like that when, you've, when you're storing it. In terms of washing the topper while you're traveling, a good tip is to have the topper washed before you leave for travel. So on that night before, wash it, blow dry it, do you know whatever you need to do. And normally with um, toppers with like a high hair quality, you won't actually have to wash it for three to four weeks. So you might actually not even need to wash it at all while you're on your travels. You can, if you're feeling like you're outside a lot and you're doing different things and it's getting you know, a bit sweaty or things like that, you can spray some water on it and you can use even a little bit of like a drop of essential oil in the water just to spritz it up, just to freshen it and then blow dry it, depending on if you're bringing your blow dryer with you or not, but normally they have blow dryers in the hotel room anyway. So yeah, that's basically it for washing. If you did want to wash your topper while traveling, you can definitely do it in just the normal way. So you would just need to fill your sink up in your hotel room, wash it in the sink. In terms of blow drying it, you can um, just use the hair dryer to get it to get it dry. But in terms of actually having to curl it or do some sort of style, it probably would be better if you had the mannequin head, you could pin it onto it. So it just depends how much room you have in your luggage. However, if you have a travel buddy, then you can definitely get them to hold the topper up while you add the curls into it. Another common, common question is, do, does the security go off when you go through the metal detector in the airport? And the answer is very unlikely no. I've been through so many metal detectors and trust me, they do not go off. It's just like if you're wearing a bobby pin on your hair. It's not like a super like, you know, super charged metal or anything like that. It's definitely very safe. On the off chance that it does go off, you can just say, I've got like some hair extensions in my hair. They're not gonna bat an eyelid. I wouldn't, wouldn't stress about that at all. In terms of wearing your topper on the plane, if it's a short flight, then yes, I would wear it on the plane, um, depending. However, if you're going on a long haul flight, me personally, I would not wear my topper on the plane because it's not really comfortable if you're trying to go to sleep or anything like that because the clips can rub on your hair where they're clipped in. If I was just doing a long haul trip, I would just wear a headband or hair fibers um, and just have my hair up. Uh, really, no one is looking at me when I'm on the plane and yeah, you just wanna obviously be like super duper comfortable. One benefit of toppers is that when you are traveling, you don't have to worry about your hair at all. Like you don't have to worry about regrowth coming. You don't have to worry about doing your hair because obviously like your hair is already done. So every day you just wake up, clip your hair in and you're going to look amazing for all your travel photos. It's just a real amazing benefit of toppers. Just 
life in general. Like you don't have to fuss about your hair. You don't have to worry about, you know, making it perfect because you're always going to have perfect hair with your toppers, especially in traveling. It makes such a better, it makes, it's such a bonus. If you are wearing your topper to a beach vacation, then I've actually got a separate IGT video that I've made that I'll link in the description below about wearing your toppers at the beach or around the pool. Um, you obviously can wear them to the beach and around the pool. However, I don't recommend you dunk your topper into the beach water or the chlorinated pool water, just in terms of keeping the longevity of the piece and, you know, not ruining the integrity of the hair. Another option you can do is to bring along maybe a cheaper topper that you have or a synthetic topper that you don't really mind um, wearing in the water or things like that. But with your high quality ones, I would just keep them looking amazing at all times. So probably don't recommend the beach water. Well, I hope this video was helpful for some quick travel tips with wearing hair and being away from home. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.